hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in this video we are going to learn about add to waste list okay so we'll be creating a crud of waste list so guys now when we click on this product this product should be added in your wish list table so we can get all the wish listed items okay so now guys let's get started to create this let's move to editor so first up guys we need to create a table that is migration with that we will create the model also and the controller to open the terminal so guys first up let's create the migration let me open the sidebar php artisan make colon migration create wish list underscore table okay here you have to add s at the last of your table name okay hit enter okay so created migration now you can move to your database let's move to database migration and at last you'll find your wish list table let me close everything like it's messy here we go to wish list table and now guys you need to create the column fields dollar table of integer where we'll create here the user id copy and paste and here we will paste the product id all done guys and now let's migrate this table so php artisan migrate hit enter cool it's migrated guys and now let's create the model for this wishlist table php artisan make colon model where wish list hit enter model created successfully and now let's move to app models and here is your wish list so wish list now let's tell protected dollar table let's assign the table name here so what was the table name wish list all set and now guys let's call all the fillables that is all the column fields fillable where the first will be user id and then the product id that's it guys and now guys uh, let's create the controller but we don't require the controller over here because we want to add the wish list so when you click add to wish list you just need to insert the record so for inserting the record we have a wish list model so with this help of model we are going to store the data that's it so let's close and yep let me close this terminal let's get back and now guys you need to move at this route on this add to wish list button so let's go to routes web.php and here is the route guys let's move to front end controller at the product view at product view function where here is our normal blade let's go to this blade and you see that we are linking with the live wire so let's go to the live wire blade so we reach to a live wire blade guys and here is our add to wish list okay so which is this button so now let's get started with adding to wish list this product so first step guys let me change this from a tag to button okay so make it to button and this button type let's make it to button and here we will tell wire colon click so when i click this you are going to tell add to wish list function very clear and now guys inside this function we will send the product id so you can where is the variable product okay we get directly the product variable let's copy that open and close curly brace and paste 
here you get the product ID perfect so now guys when you click on this add to wish list let me bring it down so when you click this you need to go to the controller so where is your live wire controller here you move to live wire folder front end product view so let's move to app app http your live wire folder here is your front end okay so live wire front end product and view front end product and here is your view cool so this is our controller live wire controller for product view and now guys let's copy this function name and create one simple function fun function with the function name add to wish list and here you are getting the product id so let's tell product id so make sure guys anywhere you are not repeating this variable globally so i have only one and so now guys let us dd and check whether the product id is coming or not let's save and once refresh guys to load the button data okay now add to wish list here you see you are getting product id that is 5 cool and now guys let's begin with inserting the data into our wish list so first step guys you need to check the user is authenticated or not so let's remove add if condition check with auth auth where check function so this will check the user is authenticated or not and now guys let's import this class first import class so here you find illuminate support packets auth and when it's not authenticated send the message return false okay so before this use a session function to send a flash message where you will be sending okay and here you set your message variable and the message is like please log in to continue okay or anything your customized message you can fill here so let me just show you a documentation about flash message here so if you don't have you can just set this session flash message and here you show your data okay so this is a way to show a message you can either show on this view itself at this button side or on the toggle however you if you want so it depends on you so now guys um, let's get back on the view blade dot php and let's go on the top of the page after your container let's paste this so here if session has any message then it will show the message okay now you get back to your controller yep and now guys let us check this whether it is working or not so i'm going to click on add to wish list you see that please log in to continue okay so guys now let us log in to one user let me log in in next tab okay way that gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight hit enter perfect so logged in successfully and now if you refresh here you'll be logged in cool you can see that guys all data is you're logged in now and now when you click on add to wish list you need to check so before checking that you need to dd your data let me dd here i'm in and let's see the output now add to wish list i'm in cool so now guys let's work on the inserting the wish list okay so let's remove this guys and now let's begin with the wish list so let's create one variable called wish list equal to your wish list model colon colon create function where you will create the data here the user id column 
and the authenticated user ID so you can type directly authenticated user of ID and again copy and paste and here you will paste your product ID dollar product ID from the parameter you are getting and you send your product ID all set guys and now you create your wishlist data so before creating this you need to check if the user added once again like if I click this and if I click for the second time you should get notified that you are already added to this wishlist okay so for that guys you need to check here let's copy this and just check in a if condition if the wishlist is already created or not so you can use a where condition again where condition for the product and use a exists function to check the true or false okay so where you check the user id user underscore id so you can get the user id directly user id and then your product so you paste that comma product id here you add product underscore id okay so if you check if it is existing if it exists means true so don't add if it's not there then you are going to create the wish list as simple guys and now let's use this message and just tell already added to wish list that's it and I don't think we are using this variable anywhere so you can remove that and now let's copy this session and just send it to your wish list added successfully that's it so now let's save and now guys let's see the output let's click on add to wish list okay so we get the error class wish list not found so we are using this model it's not imported let's import that guys once import class so our wish list class is imported all set okay so now guys let us inspect because we want to see if any error occurs or not okay so for that you just need to move to your networks and see the request so now guys let's click on add to wish list here we clicked and this the request is sent guys let me show you the request so you get the response status that is 200 and you see that wish list added successfully so now guys let us close this and let me try to add to wish list again you see that already added to wish list so now guys let's check in our database so let's move and go to your wish list table and define one record so you authenticated user user id 1 and the product id 5 so now guys let me add one more product let's go to all categories the mobile okay let's view and you add to wish list so it's wish list added successfully and let's refresh here cool you can see guys that it's added so now guys so now guys we have completed with adding our wish list okay so now guys um, i wanted to show when i click on this add to wish list i wanted to show it's like loading or adding to wish list something like that when we click on this so guys for that let me show you on live wire about the loading so let me show you loading status so here is your loading status where you can get this let's copy this first so when we click on this add to wish list button i wanted to hide that let me tag a span And paste here and just push your add to wish list so when it's loading it should be hidden and now when 
you have clicked it so on that case you have to show some data right so guys when you are hiding this we want to show some other data okay so let's style like adding and dot 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 so how can you write the code over here let's go to loading status here when you check below here you see that loading wire target let's copy this and you can paste here on what target this is your add to wish list button let's paste that name so whenever you are clicking this button you have to hide this and show this okay let's save and now guys you can check the output once refresh and now let us click on add to wish list here you see adding and when it's loaded it shows the add to wish list perfect so let's click once again adding and it shows you the message and it comes back to add to wish list perfect so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video about showing all the added wish list item okay in your wish list table and we'll be seeing about this counter also okay so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share